So we are here on the Sunroof 60 Power Eco. It has two electric engines and it is with solar cells and a battery pack. It's absolutely beautiful, very nice design. You have a huge bouncing platform where you can lift the tender up and then look at how generous the space is out here. Here you have a wet bar with, of course, an ice maker and a fridge. And then you have the huge exterior table. And then over here you have this uh, uh, beautiful lounge and then the stairs and the access to the two engine rooms. And this boat is called Double Happiness because the owner actually likes that it's so silent, so he's not polluting the environment and he's absolutely loving the comfort of this. So let's check out the saloon. This is really, really generous and beautifully designed. I really have to compliment the owner on his tasteful choices. You have a large dining table, beautiful sofa over here. And this is the galley down option. So basically you have uh, the option also to have a upper galley here with a huge kitchen island and of course then you would have the center of the attention would be on the galley. But like this it's very generous and very nice saloon with that open sofa layout, lots of natural light coming in, storage back here and then obviously the center of attention goes here to this helm station. Because it's an echo yacht, it's also very interesting. You have some equipment down here, storage there, more equipment, and we're gonna talk to Alex, the owner, in a minute to explain us how all this echo works because it's really amazing. Then you have the access, of course, to the other cabins, but we wanna look at this wine fridge that you have here, and of course, you have some storage underneath, the sink with uh, this configuration, more storage, so that's a really nicely equipped bar. And what I like is that you can go through this opening door here to the front, where you have an absolute generous space here in the front. Look at this lounge and how, you can, how you're protected, but you can enjoy the sun and the elements. And then of course you have storage and walking up the stairs you feel like on a huge private terrace with the best view ever because on the sailing catamounts that would be where the trampolines would be located and then you have a lot of space for these furnitures to put here and because it's an echo it's absolutely silent and then imagine gliding through the water with only the beautiful sound of the waves and then waving hi to the dolphins that are coming to play because it's such a nice experience here. And then um, you have all this generosity. You have this uh, pop-up lights also that we should mention with the, uh, that you can turn and then gives a nice ambience. And then you have the folding backrests and of course the beautifully integrated solar cells, which is an absolute pioneering of Sunreef. Then for in the front here, you have the two crew cabins. And um, well, this is a very nicely equipped and well-designed space on the Sunroof 60 Eco. Now let's check out the master cabin on the port side hull and you see the beautiful details of this round um, uh, feature panels. I really, really like this, uh, how it looks, this design. So this is a generous master cabin on the port side hull. Remember, it's a four cabin layout with a galley down. So of course, this is optimized for space. And you have with the mirrors in the back, that gives a lot of uh, felts of visual space. So here we have the big um, windows, lots of natural light coming in. And then you have the TV and a rise and fall mechanism. You have some uh, storage underneath here you have storage underneath the bed you have beautiful bedside tables with that detailing you have fast wireless charging and of course up here you have more uh, storage and then back here also lots of storage in those lockers and if we close this door we notice that how solid everything is made and how high quality all these um, uh, app like these details are and then we go into the bathroom. You have a double sink configuration, which I think is very good. You have uh, opening portholes for fresh air to also um, let the humidity out. You know, of course have also the ventilation, but I think it's all very generous. And also you have that smart lean that the water really flows away. Big space and one meter 88 for comparison. So that's much more than two meter 10, I would say. And this is the beautiful owner's cabin and ensuite bathroom. 
So let's check out the rest. Now, I want to give you a bit of an overview. So here on the port side hull, we have the access to the master cabin down these stairs. Then on the forward port side hull, we have the access to the forward guest cabin. So that's cabin number two. Then on the starboard side, we have the guest cabin number three going forward. And then here on the starboard hull aft, we have the access to the galley and guest cabin number four. So that's to give you a bit of an overview. I would say we go down and check out this guest cabin here. And what you notice is, of course, there's a lot of storage here. And then we go inside this guest cabin, which is, of course, much smaller than the master cabin, but still very nice details. Storage under here, storage under the bed. And then obviously you have the ensuite shower and bathroom, which is also still quite generous. You have good standing height, nice space to shower and also to put the shower utensils. And then obviously, this is a beautiful and well-designed cabin. Let's check out the flybridge. We go up these stairs on the starboard side. And then we have, again, a lot of generosity in the use of space. We have this outside alfresco dining table with the U-shaped sofa around it. Behind you have, again, some more sunbasing space. And then here you have the wet bar again which uh, has an ice maker and fridge you have a grill and then of course you have the helm station here on this helm station you see it's absolutely fully equipped we have the sofa here we have the electric uh, engine controls here so this uh, also gives you a nice overview from this helm station you can really overview nicely the whole boat and also you see the solar cells you can close the whole flybridge here with this integrated covers and everything is beautifully designed so that's the flybridge on the Sunroof 60 Eco. So, here we are with Alex, the owner of this yacht. Alex, Hi, thank you very you. much to uh, let us actually see this yacht and big compliments to you and this, your wife for this absolute tasteful interior choices. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Alex, may I ask you, why did you choose the Echo of the Sunreef and not the conventional ones? I think it's an important question because, look, I've been chartering uh, Sunreef and other boats for the last 15 years. And uh, the reason I chose this Echo line is because on a traditional sailing boat, when there's a lot of wind, usually the captains do not want to put up the sails because yeah. it's too risky. And when there's no wind, we don't put up sails. So you end up always, you know, using diesel engines. Mm. So when Sunreef came up with this Eco line, I thought, wow, you know, I got to try this. And here you can experience sailing, complete silence without generators, without engines and without sails. Yeah, because it's fully electric and you use about one fourth or one fifth of the fuel uh, versus traditional engine. So this is a no brainer. And it makes absolute sense because you're so right. I mean, I experienced this a lot. Also, we, we had a Sunroof 80 in Croatia. And then when there's a lot of wind, you, yeah, yeah, they really don't want to risk it. Right. And then when there's no wind, you, you just cannot say. So that's a very good point. And, and um, what advantages do you see on, on the Econ? How does it actually work? Yeah. Like what are the I think autonomies? There are another two advantages before I show you the, the heart of the, of the boat is, uh, is when you're standing in a bay, you can use uh, with the batteries on board, you can use this boat for about 48 hours or yeah. two days in complete silence. Wow, At night with the air conditioning running, you, you don't need the generator. During the day, if you want to swim in the water, you don't have the generators pushing water and fumes into the water. So it's complete silence. Now, this is the main screen of the system uh, where you operate the boat. And here you see, once you press uh, yeah. the accelerator, you'll see the amount of kilowatts that you're using. Uh, you're using about 70 kilowatts at a cruising speed of about eight knots. Yeah. And you have a battery of 330 kilowatts. So you've got an autonomy of about four to five hours, depending yeah. on the speed. When you see that you're depleting the battery because you're on full battery, you can go to the, to the page of generators. Here you fire up one generator. One generator produces about 70 kilowatts, which is enough for the two electric engines. Yeah. And you move continuously yeah. as long as you have fuel. Uh, if you're depleting the, the, the battery, you also have the option to fire up a second generator so you can move and charge at the same time. And yeah, the objective yeah, yeah. is to arrive at the goal with about 80%, so then you can enjoy the boat for two days. Yeah. 
Yeah. So basically, it's a bit like a plug-in hybrid. You you could say in the cars as a comparison, where you have the best of both worlds, basically, and with the generators running then at a always same um, uh, RPMs, you produce you use a much less fuel and produce much less. Uh, yeah, and it costs a lot less because the fuel of that's course. consumed on a generator yeah. is a fraction of that of a diesel engine. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. And of course, with the absolute mm. silence when when moving, and especially when you're in the bay, yeah. you can switch off then also the generators and and stay absolutely yeah. silent. And look, the final advantage, would, which we should all consider, is it's just better for the environment as well. So you're contributing to, uh, yeah. you know, to, to helping the environment as well. And for me, what was important also was range. Yeah. So I got two times, you know, 5,000 uh, liters of, of, of diesel that, you know, operate the generators. With that, you can go forever. I mean, you have about 5,000 nautical miles. So I go to the gas station once a year. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and also, there's different battery pack options, right? There's yeah. three options. So there's like the 280 kilowatt, the 330, mm -hmm. and the four... 440, yeah. 440. That's an important point. Um, yeah. I had the, the boat initially comes with 280. I upgraded to 330. Yeah. In hindsight, I would probably go for the 440. That gives you even more autonomy even and more freedom. Autonomy, yeah. And um, I think an important point is also the solar, the, the panels. Yeah, I think absolutely. they're an important element. They power the house battery and the operation of the boat, but they do not power the boat to move. Yeah. So that everybody needs to understand that the, you know, the solar today is not strong enough to uniquely power the boat only with the solar. You need the generators to produce energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think that's much more honest because it is a transitional technology and yeah. you can have the comfort and the best of yeah. both worlds already. And I think that's why Sunroof is the pioneering yeah. shipyard for this. So. And what's nice, also finally is you know the evolution technology is always you know it's innovating i'm already on the second generation once the third generation of batteries comes which is solid state uh, you can upgrade yeah you, so you can modular. take out the batteries yeah. it's plug yeah. and play and you put the new one same with the solar panels so everything's yeah. a bit plug and play yeah. so it's very adaptive for the future developments that are coming on the market Alex, thank you so much for giving us the time of explaining. Again, compliments on this, and I see you actually pretty happy. Can can you state that? I'm, I mean, my boat is called Double Happiness because it's a catamaran, and you know, I'm not polluting the world, so I'm double happy. You're double happy, <laughs> Alex. Thank you so much. It's been a real thank pleasure. You. It's Thank you. So if you want to have more information, then please let me know. I'm Knez Kisser, the founder and CEO of Breeze Yachting Swiss. We speak yachting. Let's talk.